Okay, so now we've come to the MS32 Tabletop Photo Studio. Uh, definitely larger than either the PS5 or the MS20. It's my personal favorite. Only drawback is it does take up a significant amount of space, so if you have, but if you have room for it, this is a very versatile kit. The background is 32 by 32 by 16 inches high. Uh, the bounce cards are 16 by 20. You can put a lot of different types of items in here. We've already got this uh, loaded up with um, a Stallwatch equine video surveillance. They sell portable video surveillance kits for horses, actually used um, at uh, Kentucky Derby, Churchill Downs, Belmont, things like that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take a photo of one of their kits and their cameras and um, show you how versatile this can be. I'm still using the 50 millimeter lens. You can see I've got the camera backed off a little ways. We are at uh, f6.3 at a tenth of a second. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the external lights and see what we get. All right, so just a very nice photo of the, the camera case and the cameras on a white background. Okay, so now just for a little bit of a change up, we've swapped out the bounce cards with the AL1 accent lights, kind of put them in the same spot. Go ahead and turn off the lights and turn on the, the accent lights. And you'll just see the difference look that we're going to get with the accent lights. So as you can see, it's added some rim lighting to uh, the bottom of both sides, both the left and right side. So it's a, it's a subtle difference, but sometimes the small differences are the ones that uh, make all the difference. Okay, so now we're going to um, do the next shot in the MS-32 and right here we've got a, a wine bottle and it is a very clear wine bottle. So we're having some of the same issues that we had when we were photographing the mason jar. Where it doesn't show up really strongly against the white background, but we're going to go ahead and take a photo with the bounce cards in the regular position and, um, and then we're going to remove them, turn on the accent lights, actually exactly placed where they were with the um, camera case and the cameras and see what that does. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights again outside and fire up the camera. Alright, so that's not a bad photo at all. It's a nice photo. Um, it, the bottle shows up pretty well, but we're going to go ahead and show um, what happens when we take away the bounce cards and turn on the accent lights. Now when you have something shiny like glass or it could be silver or chrome, metal, something like that, they're very reflective and so whatever you do with light positioning is actually going to show up on the product in different ways. So we're going to go ahead and try this with the, bounce, uh, with the accent lights laid down and let me adjust the setting on here a little bit. Again we have more light so went from a 30th of a second to a 60th of a second and I'm at f5.6. All right, so you can see there's some more reflection points on the bottle. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, just kind of change the position of the accent lights a bit and stand them up. And be able to see some uh, slightly different reflections on the bottle. All right, still, actually all three photos would work in different ways. Um, let's try one up on the back, um, like I had done before, just kind of putting it across the back of the photo studio. So I'm just going to rest it on here. It's a little more precarious on the MS-32. And, and then I'm going to put this one down in the front. It shouldn't be showing up on the frame. Should still be out of the frame. But that'll give some highlights to the bottom of the bottle. Let's see how that looks. Very cool. I like that. So that just again shows you flexibility when you have lights that you can move around. Um, another reason why I really like the accent lights. But again, you don't need them to take great photos, but when you, especially when you have shiny reflective items uh, like things like this, it helps to have some more options when it comes to lighting. Okay, so we've traded out the clear wine bottle for uh, four darker bottles. And what I wanted to show you here 
is that while they're not clear, they're still glass and they're reflective. So there still um, are differences that happen when you light it differently. So we're going to do the exact same series of shots, right? We're going to start with the bounce cards. Then we're going to turn on the accent lights horizontally, do the accent lights vertically, and then do the photo with the um, accent light in the back and the foreground, just to show you the difference. We're going to do these uh, pretty quickly. So right now, uh, I've gone up to F8 on this, just because there's a lot of detail in the label. I want to make sure I've got all that. I'm at a thirteenth of a second, and uh, still at ISO 400, so let me shut off the lights. And go ahead and snap the first photo. Okay, still a great photo. You're getting some highlights. Um, the top of the bottles here. Uh, from the, the up lights, um, just the regular MS32 light. Now we're going to take away the accent lights. I'm sorry, take away the bounce cards and add the accent lights. Same position. Uh, we're going to go up to a 25th of a second since we added some light. All right, still a great shot, definitely a different feel. You've got lights coming in from the sides, added highlights on the bottles. And now we're going to go change it up a little bit more. And the accent lighting definitely has more of an effect, uh, a noticeable effect, I should say, when you're using objects that are reflective like this. If you just had, say, a, a handbag or a purse or something that didn't have any reflective material on it, it's not going to make as much of a difference, but there will be some subtle differences. Okay, here we go. All right, so there's the photo with the accent lights vertically. Now we're going to lay this one down in the front and uh, put this other one across the back. All right. And There you go. Again, a great photo. That one adds some depth. You can see the light coming in from the top and the back. Gives the bottle some separation from the background. A little more dramatic. Um, a great shot. So take your pick. Um, just a lot of flexibility with that. Okay, so that concludes our photo shoot demonstration with the MS32. Again, this is a great larger psych than the PS5 or the MS20. More versatile as far as being able to fit larger products in here. I uh, wanted to mention that this also has uh, an extra light bar that can be um, basically it's, it's two more lights. It's identical to the light bar that's being used here. Two more 5000K fluorescents that would just basically be placed right underneath the one there. That's actually how I usually have it set up, but as you can see it's not necessary. It just adds extra light, um, which I like to have whenever I can, but the photos we took didn't use it, so it's, it's not a necessary addition, but certainly something available if that's what you wanted. So, so I hope that was a helpful demonstration to you on how to use the accent lights, things you can do with the MS32. Of course, there's millions of different types of products you could photograph in here, but these were uh, just a few I wanted to show you.